Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back and I'm going to be reviewing a new modded sniper rifle that is designed purely to help anybody who doesn't snipe or can't snipe very well get kills, one shot most trash mobs and uh, do a high damage against harder enemies without the use of slag. So if there's anyone out there that wants to try the hand at sniping uh, but always feels that it's too hard or they can't really do it in overpower rate or they just don't want to mess around trying to slag enemies and try and kill them this is a sniper rifle for dummies I'm calling it. Can you remember them old windows for dummies books and things like that which teaches people how to use computers and windows and stuff that wouldn't know how to do it anyway. This is the sniper rifle version of that. It will let anybody snipe with any character um, and just get good results for it and just enjoy the art of sniping. Now obviously you can use the best zero sniper setups for this uh, with the best skills to boost and uh, just be an absolute warrior for it but that is not the point of this sniper rifle. So today I'm going to be using a bog standard uh, grog zerker setup uh, Gunzerka Salvador character that hasn't had any skills or anything like that specced into to help him with sniper rifles or critical hits or things like that. Just thought I'd explain that so I didn't get digged at again for not using a modded weapon to its fullest and most powerful potential. This is uh, deliberate, we are definitely um, trying out this just to show how powerful this weapon is without the right setup. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at the Sequoia and uh, it's made by Resand, who we've reviewed quite a lot from so far. Loved every weapon he's brought out so far. Um, so looking forward to giving this a good review. So as always, we'll start out uh, by showing you guys exactly where to get this. So as always, you can click on the link in the description, which will take you straight to it. Or you can uh, actually navigate there yourself by clicking on Borderlands 2 mods and then scrolling down to Resan's section on the uh, community GitHub, which is just here. Nice full folder now, actually getting quite a good amount of weapons in here. A couple for more for me to review, actually, since uh, the last one. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the Sequoia right now. Click on that, and uh, that will bring up the weapons information page, as well as the code needed to change the weapon into the Sequoia. Click on the raw tab, right-click, save as, and save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. Uh, remember what you've saved it as because then you're going to come in and uh, activate it using the console commands in game. The weapon that you'll need to change into the Sequoia is the Skull Masher which can be farmed from Son of Mothrak and also Prospective Ziki I believe with the, uh, the community patch uh, applied. So you can go and get yourself one of them or you can use a Gib code uh, to actually give yourself one. Uh, so that is all done now as you can see this is the Sequoia nice bright orange and yellow themed skin on it which is uh, very nice looking shines as most of uh, Resan's actual weapons do. The red text on it says this is their temple vaulted high and here we pause with reverent eye. Now this is from a poem actually about redwood trees which is the uh, type of tree the giant sequoia is which this weapon is named after. They're like one of the largest tr well, types of trees on earth. So uh, that is what the red text means on it. Ray Sands um, red text on weapons normally references books. Um, so this one is actually a reference to trees, which is quite interesting as well. Always good to uh, have a Googling session to find out what these references are about, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, this is the weapon in action. As you can see, it's very fast firing uh, and uh, you, uh, your aim is to aim for the crit spots on it, which uh, apparently I'm not very good at doing anymore. So now you know how to get it, what the title references, what the red text references. Now it's time to do some killing and uh, run through the list of changes for this weapon. For this, I've decided to take it to a relatively trash mob place, you know, filled place. Uh, there are quite a lot of nomads in here as well, which means that you do have to aim um, for crit spots and things like that. Uh, just like to say, I am not the best sniper in the world by a long way. This is why this weapon's pretty good to try out. Um, so you're not going to see any absolutely amazing sequences of kills and things like that. That is not what my modded weapon gu uh, guides are about. I'd just like to test them out, have fun, and just let you guys know that they're available. But uh, yeah, let's run through the list of changes then. So like I said, this is called the Sequoia, and it's designed to be the ultimate Jacob sniper rifle. 
Uh, it's designed so that most, if not all, characters can one-shot trash mobs with a critical hit without slag. Uh, and again, that's why I've decided to use a Salvador with no setup uh, for sniping at all. Just to show you that this thing is, uh, although not the, uh, the most powerful weapon in the world on the Borderlands universe, uh, without skills and slag and things like that, it's still pretty damaging and very playable. Uh, which I think I might have shown pretty well here. Um, so rather powerful on zero. Um, if you get this weapon, put critical ascension on it, it gets crazy very quickly. Again, not what this uh, kind of weapon is designed for, that's why I've decided to use Salvador. Uh, this has hit scan projectile speed, or near hit scan projectile speed. Hit scan is obviously the calculation the game does where your weapon uh, interacts with uh, an object and the game decides whether it's a, you know, a hit or not. So uh, very fast speed on this, so once you shoot it, it will pretty much impact the enemy straight away if you hit. Uh, it has extremely low recoil which again is good for a beginner who's uh, not obviously wanting to be the, the expert sniper just yet, just trying to get the feel of things. Uh, this will actually allow you to uh, take a couple of shots if you miss and uh, hopefully try again. Uh, the shots will bypass shields, again will help you out no end because uh, there's nothing worse than coming up against an enemy, especially with a non-elemental sniper rifle that has a stupidly large shield and takes a lot of chipping away at just to get down only for you to reload your weapon again and his shields already started recharging again so uh, yeah when this bypass shields basically the any shot you do will go straight for the actual health bar of the enemy 99.9% uh, .9 accuracy again you don't have to explain why that's handy to a, a novice sniper you need all the accuracy you can get it's got a very high base damage but also a 1200% critical hit damage. So you can do a bit of uh, damage on the enemy, obviously without slag, um, just a body shot on an enemy, even with a lot of power, will not do a lot to it, but it will chip away a little bit, especially at really weak mobs like lunatics and things like that. Um, you can do a bit of damage with it, but again, this thing is designed just for the headshots. It does have a large amount of weapon knockback though, um, so that's quite good when things uh, are quite intimidating, like the, especially the ironclad lunatics, that is what it's perfect for. Or just lunatics in general come running at you, you uh, they're too close for you to actually scope in and see their heads easily. So you can just shoot them with a bit of knockback, run away a little bit, maybe knock them back again and then line up for the perfect headshot. Uh, the skin resembles a giant sequoia, um, which is the largest trees on earth located in Yosemite and Sequoia National Parks in California, USA. Uh, I've already said it replaces the school masher and uh, it provides a perfect Gib code for you as well for you to put into uh, Gib Save Editor if you want to try the one that uh, I am using now and which I presume is the one that uh, resan has got in his inventory that he tested this thing out on. So uh, if you want the perfect Gib code that is provided on his um, GitHub information page for the Sequoia weapon. So yeah, there you go guys, that is all you need to know about the Sequoia. A very nice um, beginner's sniper rifle for sure, one that I uh, really do recommend if you're not used to using um, any kind of sniping setup. Obviously everyone must have used a sniper rifle at some point in this. Uh, it's also perfect for any beginner zero sniper characters out there that uh, have always played with Salvador or Axton or someone like that, very used to pistols and assault rifles and that, and think, you know what, I want to try a, a playthrough, I've never been a, a, a Sniper Zero, um, I just want to know a good weapon for it, so if you want to do that, get this thing into your inventory, even at beginner's level, and um, you know, even from the start if you want, from level 5, get this mod applied, get yourself a school masher gibbed in, and run through the game with this, you'll probably find by the end of it, you'll be uh, wanting to upgrade to uh, to more harder sniper rifles. You'll be much better at headshots and things like that, and better at dealing with things like recoil on normal snipers and just just generally lining up your shots. So yeah, very good idea from me, Sandia, to make the uh, a beginner sniper rifle with massive critical damage, uh, good base damage, uh, good fire rate, things like that just to uh, get people used to it. So, that is the Sequoia. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.